Sneaker Fam. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Sneaker Dome. I'm your host, Sneaker James, aka the Shoe Freak, aka the Dude Next Door with all the kicks. Coming through with a special episode of the Sneaker Dome today. Now, if you've been following me, man, for the past few years, you know every year back to school, I give away some kicks. So, um, this year I wanted to do something a little different. So, kind of hang around. You know what I'm saying? Check out these pickups I got, and I give you guys all the information you need to know about the sneaker giveaway this year. So, without further ado, I'm not gonna hold you guys up because I know exactly what you're here to see. Let's do it. Uh, uh, it's the dawn. It's the dawn. 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 In the dawn. Yeah. Yeah. It's a sneaker down, but the cream the crops. We got the ones and twos. This shit don't stop. Walk up in the building, my shit gon' pop. Never know what I got in the box. Over your 12 swag too easy. Need my own sneakers, call up your easy. We don't wait in line no more. My plug too greedy. But if time that shit, but the culture needs me. Yeah. The dome nigga, link in the bio weekly. We own nigga, hit a song nigga, you know song nigga. Exclusive shit from the dome nigga. Welcome back. So, as you guys know, like I said, um, in the thumbnail, five new pickups, man. Five new pickups. Your boy been kind of busy. I just went to, um, me and my wife was actually just in Las Vegas, had an outstanding time. Besides the heat, because it was just like, it was ridiculous, like 113 a day. That's unbelievable. But that's besides the point. We had a complete ball out there, man. We had a, we had a great time. I definitely want to go back, um, probably with the fellas. But nevertheless, we had a great time. Uh, in the process, of course, if you follow me on Instagram, it might have looked like I was on a sneaker shopping trip. Because, you know, every time I travel, I love to look for kicks. Now... One of my first pickups that I got from out of that, well, that I got from uh, Vegas, was a pair of Chicago Bull shorts. Now I've been looking for these shorts for the longest time. I've been looking for these shorts for the longest time. Definitely gonna give you guys some B-roll footage of everything that I picked up. But um, these Chicago Bull shorts, man, with the Gucci colorway, the green, red, and white, these things are phenomenal. And I was able to get these for about. Um, I think I paid like 60 bucks or something like that. Um, so it was a pretty good deal. Um, like I said, man, I had a great time, man. Like I said, these are one of my pickups out there. I have been searching for these shows for the longest. And I was able to pull the trigger. My second pickup. Being from DC. Asics. Wale's first pair of Asics that he released a while back with RU Villa. I've been chasing these for the longest. And like I said, I'll definitely give you guys B-roll footage. But I've been chasing these bad boys for the longest. I was able to get them in my possession for under retail. I want to give a huge shout out to the homies over at, um, what is it called? Um, Magno I think it's called Magnolia. It's, I forgot the name of the, um, of the actual spot that I got these from. But it was in Las Vegas uh, in Planet Hollywood. I think it's something Magnolia or something like that. Um, it was a dope little sneaker boutique, man. Super dope. Um, very friendly, dope customer service, which I'm a sucker for that. But um, it was a dope, it was a dope little spot, man. Like I said, dope pickup. Wale's um, Bottle Rocket Asics. The his first pair of Asics that he ever did. I got the second pair as well back here somewhere. But yeah, man, it was a dope little pickup. Like I said, for under retail, never can complain about that. So we're gonna get into my third pickup. Like I said, you know, your boy been kind of busy, man. I've been all over the place finding some decent kicks or whatever. I just had to pull a trigger, man. I don't know, I need some help. I guess I do, I need some help. The Just Do It Air Mac 97. Super dope, super dope, super dope. Of course, the colorway is dope. The um, the Just Do It pattern all around the, uh, all around the shoe, rather, is, is, to me, was amazing. It was a good touch. Um, I don't, I don't have to, oh yeah, I do have to pull a tag. Hang tag. The Just Do It hang tag up in there. I think these are nice, man. I think these was a good idea. Nike kind of doing some good things with this whole Just Do It concept. Super dope in my opinion. Of course, I had to pick these up. So 
So like I said, man, I just been busy, man. Your boy just been busy, just been bad kicks, bad kicks, bad kicks. So I think I'm gonna take a little break for a minute. All right, my fourth pickup, my fourth pickup, people. The Don C joints, man. The Don C joints. I had some issues with these. I originally ordered these from um, the trophy room. I didn't get these from Vegas. I ordered these from the trophy room, which we all know is Michael Jordan's son's store over in Disney Springs. <sighs> I'm not gonna. <clears throat> I'm not gonna blame them. So it might it might have been my fault. I might have accidentally hit the wrong size, um, which I, I don't know. If, I don't even I don't know how, but I'm just gonna say it was my fault. I hit a size three and a half in this shoe, which I don't know how the hell I did that. They sent me a three and a half. I had to send it back. They sent me my correct size. These joints is butter. And when I say as far as the quality goes, I'm gonna be totally honest. I'm getting shattered backboard vibes off this lever quality. I'm just, I'm, I'm being totally honest. Totally honest. Now, anybody else who's did a review on their Don C's, I don't know what they said because I haven't watched any reviews on the Don C's. I've watched a couple of on foots, but that's really what I, what I wanted to see how they look on feet. But anybody else who did a review on this shoe, I don't know what they said. The, what the level was good, trash, I don't know. I don't care. My opinion. I'm getting shattered backboard vibes from the leather quality of the shoe, especially the white. The white leather on here is splendid. I can I promise you I cannot make this up. Um, like I said, all around dope crash the shoe. It's an Air Jordan 1, it's an Air Jordan 3, and I believe there's um, some type of tech challenge in here with this strap going on right here. But you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I like it, man. It's a Jordan hybrid. It's different. The colorway is dope as well, so that's one of the main reasons why I like it. Didn't pick up any today, but I was highly impressed with the, with the quality of this shoe, man. All right? So, my fifth and final pickup. I'm almost 100% sure everybody know what my fifth and final pickup was. Because you follow me on the ground. So, without further ado, he got game. Thir Air Jordan 13s. Of course. Like, everybody knows that. You know what I'm saying? He got game Air Jordan 13s. I had these from 2000, I think 13. Um, I wound up selling them because for some reason I don't really like to just keep old ass sneakers for some reason. Like I don't know. Like I recently sold my Aqua Eights from 2007 just to get the new Aqua Eights from a few years back, which I wound up selling those too. But I don't know. It's something. It's something about me and like super old sneakers, man. After you wear them for, I mean, after you hold them for a while, they start to change colors. They get brown. Uh, you know what I love? I love sneakers, but when they start getting brown, I'm not wearing them, especially if they're supposed to be white. So I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But like I said, man, my fifth and final pickup, the He Got Game Air Jordan 13s, which was a dope pickup in my opinion. Extremely easy to walk into the store. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Thank you. Thank you. And I'm out. That's how easy that was. I cannot make this up. It was an extremely easy pickup. Also, Urban Necessities. Of course, me being in Vegas, I had to stop by Urban Necessities. Give you guys my honest opinion. Hold on one second. Give you guys my honest opinion, I was not impressed. I'm being totally honest. Now let's be clear. I wasn't, like I wasn't not impressed because I couldn't afford the sneakers that were there. I think more so I wasn't impressed because the selection I wanna say and partly the prices and I don't know, man. Going to a lot of the different sneaker boutiques that I've been to around the world, the prices that I've seen in Urban Necessities, it was, it was, they were unbelievable, man. They were just unbelievable. Like, like I always say, man, there's a, there's a spot where I live called Cool Kicks VA. Maybe I'm 
kind of spoiled to their prices. You know, they have, I've seen Just Don 2's and Cool Kicks VA Where I Live for $300, bro. 300 bucks for Just Don Air Jordan 2's. $300, and we all know how those, you know how the price on those Just Don 2's go. We all know those are high as hell. So, I guess I'm spoiled to those to that kind of pricing. You know what I'm saying? To that kind of pricing system. So when I go to Urban Necessities, I was seeing stuff in there that was like, I'm talking about, I don't know, man. I think I seen a pair of um, Dawn Becker pennies, like for like three hundred and fifty dollars, which. I'm seeing those around around in different places for like a hundred a hundred dollars, a hundred and fifty dollars. So it, I just wasn't impressed, man. I, to, to sum it up, I just was not impressed. You know what I'm saying? It was a the, the spot was dope, the layout was dope. I just was not impressed, man. I just was not impressed. So that's my all my pickups, man. That's all my pickups. Um, like I said, a little bit that was a little bit of my Vegas experience with my wife. It was it was I just wasn't impressed with um, Urban Necessities. That was it. And throughout the time in Vegas, of course, I'm going to different sneaker stores and I'm asking, yo, where can I find a shoe? I'm looking for something exclusive. Point me in the right direction. The, the gentleman in the in the Foot Locker said, we got them, he got game 13s. Nigga, so do I. Like, come on, bro. Like, that's a general release shoe. I'm looking for something that I cannot find in Washington, D.C which led me to only buy these. You know, buy these for, and I, like I said, I think I paid like 65 bucks for these. So, I'm grateful, man, I'm grateful. Now, let's get into the giveaway information real quick. Anybody who watches this video, if you know anybody in the Washington, D.C., D, local Washington, D.C., Merlin or Virginia area, and you know they have a kid or their kids going back to school, who may need a pair of sneakers for school, hit me up. This is how you can do that. Down in the link, down in my description, I'm gonna leave my Instagram information. If you know anybody who needs some shoes for back to school, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna extend this until I wanna say, um, uh, let's say the 20th. We're gonna say the 20th of October, I mean August. If you know anybody who needs sneakers for back to school kids not I'm sorry if you're 17 18 I'm sorry because when I was 17 when I was 18 summer jobs was popping you know what I'm saying so nobody no no 18 year olds I'm, I'm, I'm sorry because like I said if you're around that age you can get a summer job hell with a work man you can probably work all year round so that's just that's just me Anybody who knows any kids who need some sneakers for back to school, hit my Instagram, at Shoe Freak, or you can hit my homeboy up, at um, Sneaker Chef. You can hit either one of us up. If you're not comfortable with hitting him, hit me up. Let me know the location of the kid or the location of the person who needs the shoes, the size, and the age. It's easier when I have an age and a size because I can kind of put two and two together. Or if you know, or if you know somebody, hell, send them the video. Let them see this information, and they can hit me up. I'm gonna leave this open until the 20th. I want to try to help anywhere between five to ten kids. You know what I'm saying? With some type of kicks for the, you know, some type of uh, school um, shoes or whatever. So please, 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 you know, just let me know. All you gotta do is DM me. Let me know what the situation. You don't have to go into detail about this person has has been evicted or the house burned down. I don't really want to get all into that. I just want to know if you know somebody who's in need of back to school shoes, some kids, send them my information or send me their information. Hopefully it checks out. I can reach them. They can reach me. And we can get these kids some school shoes, man. Because trust and believe, I've been there. I know how it feels to wake up with no school shoes. That shit is it's painful. You know, it's embarrassing. It hurts. So, like I said, man, I definitely appreciate you guys for watching. Please feel free to like comment and definitely subscribe also don't forget to join the facebook group 
Shoe Freaks USA, because we always popping over there. And like I said, man, let's let's try to get let's try to get these kids some kicks. Come through, and um, you know what I'm saying. Let's let's show some love, man. Let's get these kids. Let's get these um, kids some shoes for their feet for back to school. So, like I said, man, I appreciate you guys for watching. It's your boy Snigger James, aka the Shoe Freak, and I'm out. Peace.